at the 1600 metres Saudi Derby and not the best away for Ever Young just had to be rousted along the US sandwich broke better on his inside and outside and for Ever Young just nudged along early is going to have to do it the hard way here as out on the lead Ajwadi in company with Hayit are one of the first to show also moving forward in the uh, early stages is set up for Japan that horse is just being tracked through by Salam al Care. Forever Young's now got clear daylight just inclined to lug out to the right slightly as Ben Tonato makes ground now up on the outside so Ben Tonato disputing it with set up and on the inside Hayit they're being followed through in fourth place by Ajwadi and then behind these we have Salam al Care. Oasis Boy in midfield Forever Young is three back or three up wide on the outside following Bookham Dano at this stage with Satono Phoenix one struggling to lie up is Saudi Naom as they make the turn and it's set up who has the lead from Ben Tonato in second Bookham Dano in third now Forever Young begins a sweeping move on the outside of Ajwadi as they make their way with Hayit as they straighten Ben Tonato the first one to commit behind these Bookham Dano the Americans go one two now Forever Young is forced to dig in because he's given them a three-length start at the top of the home run it is Ben Tonato and Bookham Dano Forever Young at this stage he's flat he's got three lengths still to find 300 meters to do it as Bookham Dano moves through to lead for Irad Ortiz now Forever Young belatedly beginning to pick up Bookham Dano needs the line now as Forever Young surges on the outside Bookham Dano Forever Young is coming Bookham Dano all out Forever Young dives and may have got it in the final bound Forever Young and Bookham Dano could go either way here Ben Tonato back in third place. Bookham Dano paddling late. Forever Young took an age to get going, but in the final bound may just have got up. Forever Young, if you were a supporter, you aged in the run, but you may have got the prize. I mean, that was some horse race. I know, Derek, you've come out on the wrong side of the photo finish, but my word, you must be proud of him. Yeah, here in the crack. What can I say? <laughs> did, did you think crossing the line that you might have hung on? Um, no, no, no. I seen the photo finish there. At the eight pole, I thought I had it. I wish the other, I wish he was a little closer and seen him. I think it might have helped. If someone said to you, I mentioned in the interview before the race, humble beginnings for your lad. If someone said that you'd be doing this with this horse when he first came to the barn, what would you have said? I wouldn't have believed it. I wouldn't have believed it. What's the plan with him now? Um, we'll uh, probably ship him back to the States and uh, probably go for the Pat Day Mile. I can see the emotion. You should be incredibly proud of everything you've achieved here. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Okay. Yeah, there's a fine line between glory and, and despair, and Yoshi to Yohagi once again takes glory. Uh, huge congratulations. What were you thinking throughout the race? He didn't have a good start. He was wide out, and um, it was a tough race, but uh, he ended up well, so we're very satisfied. What does this tell you about your horse, the fact that he could overcome the start and go past and win? He didn't want the kickback, so we, uh, the jockey kept him wide out, but uh, still he had a very good performance, so uh, very happy about the performance. And he's making his way back in, but is he the type of horse Ishito you would want to send to America? Unfortunately, this race does not count for the Kentucky Derby uh, selection, but uh, of course, uh, we look forward to taking him to the US. Here he is, Ishito. More success for you. Well done. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.